Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you about my project that is Turf Booking System which I have developed using the technologies Spring Boot, REST APIs for the backend, ReactJS for the frontend, MySQL for the database and Maven for the project and the dependency management and for the styling purpose, I have used Bootstrap softwares used in the project. So for the backend, I have used STS or Spring Tool Suite, VS Code for the frontend and for the database, I have used MySQL Workbench. User modules present in the project. So the project basically contains two modules that is administrator module and the customer module. Functional modules present in the project. The first and the very important functional module is user authentication module. The second one is customer module. Third one is ground module. Next is turf booking module and the last one is payment module. And now let's see the basic overview of the project. So as we know, our project contains two modules that is admin and the customer. So firstly, admin will register and log in into the system and after the login, admin can add multiple turfs in the system for different different games like football, cricket, etc. After adding the turfs, customer will be able to see all the turfs present in the website and now they can click on it and they can book for the turf by selecting the booking date and the time slot but they should be logged in into the system so if they are logged in they can book the turf by selecting the date and the time slot and if the slots are available and not booked by any other customer on that slot then it will get booked but initially the status will be pending so now admin can see all the bookings by the customers and from here admin can approve the customer booking now as soon as admin clicks on the approve button amount for the booking will get debited from the customer's wallet and here our customer's bookings gets confirmed and now customer can go to the turf on that day on that time slot on the selected time slot so this was the basic overview of the project and now let's see the complete project in detail but before that i would like to request you guys to please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel it takes lots of time and efforts for developing such type of project students can use this project for learning purpose or they can also refer this to create their own project so if you subscribe my channel it will motivate me to create more such type of projects for you guys and now without wasting any time let's see the complete project in detail so let's go to the other end so this is our spring boot application turf management system as I have already told, I have used STS for the backend Spring Boot application development. This is our project structure and we can see the pom.xml file. Uh, as I have already mentioned, I have used Maven for the project and the dependency management. So we can see the Maven structure here. Okay, application.property files and I have created multiple packages here like config, controller, DAO, entity, interceptor. And in this project, I have implemented multiple uh, Spring Boot topics like interceptor, uh, spring security jwt and all the thing okay after this let's also see our react js project so this is our front end code we can see the project structure here i have created multiple components here review component user component ground component booking component and now without wasting any time let's run both the application so firstly i will run the back end so for that right click on the project run as Spring Boot app. Okay, so our application is running. So our turf management system application got started on port 8080. Okay, so as soon as it gets started, I'll go to the browser and I will write the Swagger UI URL here. Okay, and I will hit enter here. And here we will be able to see all the APIs which I have created. So in the booking controller, there are seven APIs. In the ground controller, it's five. In the review controller, it's two. And in the user controller, it's it's nine APIs. Now let's run our React application also. So for that, I will simply run the command npm start, hit enter. So our react application is also running fine and we can see the output on the browser. Now since both our frontend and backend application is running fine, we can see the complete project in detail. So this is our landing page of the project and in the navigation bar, we can see we have got two options that is register customer and the login. So from here, basically customer can register into the website and from here, 
customer or admin can basically log in into the system we will see these things in the later part of the video but here in the home page we can see we have got get started option okay at two places so when customer will click on the get started button initially when he will visit to the website so he will be able to see all the terms which are present in the website so till now only three terms are present in the website okay which was added by admin actually let's go with the flow as i have shown in the overview part of the video okay so for that we have to firstly register as admin so for admin register i have created one separate url that is admin user admin register so let's register our admin here enter the contact number age street city and the pin code register admin okay admin user registered successfully and from here now admin can log in so i will select the role as admin enter the same email id enter the correct password login logged in successful okay so as soon as admin will login into the system we will be able to see multiple options in the navigation bar okay that is add ground view all ground view all customer view all bookings okay so from here basically admin can add the grounds in the website okay so let's add one ground as a hockey turf enter the description ground width 50 feet or let's make it 100 150 length and height let's make it to 50 or 40 we'll keep the prices 3500 choose the file from here we have to select the ground image actually select the image after selecting click on add ground okay it got added and again if i go to the home page so here we will be able to see hockey turf also okay so after this admin can click on view all ground button to view all the grounds okay and also at any time admin can remove the turf by clicking on the remove button so let's delete this one basketball turf okay so let, let's click remove button here ground deleted successfully and here it should get disappear from here okay so now we can see only three turfs that is football turf cricket turf and hockey turf and if i go to the home page again so here i will be able to see only three turfs that is football cricket and hockey yeah then after that admin can click on view all customers button to view all the customers who are registered in the website and the next option is view all bookings so from here admin will be able to see all the bookings by the customer and here he will be able to see the complete detail like the ground which customer has booked along with the customer name contact the booking date and the booking time slot also okay with the booking status and now let's log out as an admin and log in as a customer to book the terms okay so i will log out as a admin and let's log in as a customer but before the customer login we have to register the customer right so let's register our customer demo customer to
enter the password select the gender register user customer user registered successfully and now we can log in as a customer from here select the role as customer enter the same email id customer2 login logged in successfully now as soon as customer log into the system he will be able to see two options in the navigation bar that is my wallet and the book terms okay so let's see the my wallet first so here we can see the customer wallet balance is zero and for booking the terms there should be the balance in the wallet okay so basically customer can add the amount in the wallet okay so let's add 6000 update wallet money added in the wallet successfully and in the wallet balance it's 6000 now and now after this customer can click on the booked terms to view all his bookings so till now customer has not booked any terms till now so that's why it is empty now so let's book our first term so for that i will click on the get started and let's book the football turf so this is our main page from where customer can basically book the terms okay so here he will be able to see the complete detail like the turf name description ground area like width length height and also the price which is mentioned here is for only one hour and from here customer can select the booking date and the booking time slot okay so let's book our first turf uh, but before that let's also see the review part so customer can basically view the existing customers review also for this ground okay so we can see here the multiple reviews are present okay along with the star and the comments so now let's book it i will select the date 13 time slot i will select 10 to 11 am and now click on the book ground okay ground book successfully please check approval status on booking option page so we know customer can click on the book terms to view his bookings right so he can see the ground detail booking id and the booking date and the time slot which he has selected right along with the total payable amount but the booking status is pending till now okay and uh, also at any time customer can uh, cancel the booking so let's try that also so i will click on the get started again and this time i will book cricket turf book now select the booking date 13 select the time slot book ground ground booked successfully and now in the book terms you can see two bookings here the first one is for the football turf and the second one is for the cricket turf okay so let's cancel the cricket turf booking so cancel booking booking cancelled successfully and now we can see the booking status is cancelled and uh, this cancel booking option also got disappeared from the action part okay and also customer can cancel the book at any time if that booking is not approved by the admin if it is approved by the admin then customer will not get the option to cancel the booking okay because it is approved from the admin side so now let's log out as a customer and log in as an admin to view these bookings okay so now i will log out as a customer and log in as a admin so click on the admin enter the correct email id login logged in successful and now i will directly click on the view all bookings 
because I want to see the customer bookings and just now one customer has booked two turfs okay and out of which he has cancelled one as we can see here in the booking status cancelled for the cricket turf but for the football turf it's pending so now admin can click on the verify booking button and from here he will be able to see the complete detail again like ground name time slot booking id and from here he can select the status okay so let's click on the approve button so I click on the update now booking approved successful and also we can see the booking status is approved here and also that verify booking button also got disappeared from here so again I will log out as an admin and log in as a customer to check the booking status so log out log in select the role as customer enter correct email password login select the role as customer enter correct email id and password login logged in successful and now if i click on the booked terms here we can see the booking status is approved and also since it is approved the total payable amount is 3000 right so and in the wallet previously we had added 6000 but now it's only 3000 because it got debited because that booking is now approved from the admin side so it got debited from his wallet and one more very important thing i want to tell you here is customer has booked the football turf for this booking date that is 13 and booking time slot was 10 to 11 am okay so if any other customer tries to book this football turf in the same timing slot in the same date then he will not be able to book that turf okay because it is already allotted and it is approved from the admin side okay so let's try that also so i will click on the get started again here click on the book now and let's try to book the same turf on the same date and in the same timing slot that is 10 to 11 am and i will click on the book ground again so here we can see selected slot is already booked you you may select different slot okay so it didn't got booked we can see here we have only two bookings here that is for the football and the cricket turf and now since we have booked this football turf let's also add the review for it okay add review button I will select the star as 5 and I will add the ground review here okay and I will add it review added successfully and let's see our review also so we can see here it got added here and also below that we can see the other grounds also okay so this was the complete overview of the project I have added lots of functionalities in the project. I hope you guys liked each and every functionalities which I have added in this project. Students can use this project for the learning purpose or also they can create their own project by referring to this project. And also I hope you guys liked the video too. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will meet soon in my next video. Till then take care and bye bye.